Welcome to another computer video tutorial from thehelpspot.com, where if you need a computer tutorial or a computer video tutorial created, we'll make it for free. Head to www.helpspot.com now and get your free tutorial. This video is part four in our overview of the Microsoft Excel menu tour, and today we're going to look at the insert menu. As always, I have a spreadsheet waiting here for us, and again, it's, it's just of the planets, and don't worry about the data, it's just here so I can demonstrate some features. So. In the insert menu, you'll see the first thing is cells. And if we go to the cells menu, it allows us to insert cells to shift cells to the right, shift them down, insert a row or a column. Now, if you look back at the insert menu, you actually have rows and columns here. So by using the cells box there, it gives us both of those options. So that's number one. So let's go ahead and learn about what is shifting cells to the right do. Let's select a diameter category, a column. Again, I'm gonna left click on diameter, holding down the mouse and scrolling down, insert, cells, and let's shift cells to the right. So we can see it's pretty much like inserting a new column. And let's go to edit and undo. Now let's see what happens if we shift cells down. Now the cells are all shifted down. Um, I, I don't know how that's very useful. I really don't use that feature, but that is there. Let's undo that. And just to show you the difference, let's insert a column and you can see we've inserted a column undo it and again that's the same insert column from here now let's insert a row let's say they discovered another planet in the middle here insert rows and you can see it's inserted a row right on the top of where we have the cursor we have the cursor on mars insert row and it gives us a row on top let's undo both of those changes and now let's take a look at what's next okay worksheet if we look on the bottom here we have sheet one sheet two sheet three we wanted to insert a new, let's say this is planets of our solar system, and we had some other solar systems that we knew the planets of. Um, now let's insert, let's say this fourth magical solar system, insert worksheet, and you can see here, sheet four. It added it before the other sheets, um, so we could always move that around. And in another tutorial, I'm gonna talk about how we work with and move worksheets. But for a quick tip here, we highlighted it, hold down the left mouse, you see you get that paper, we drag, and you see the um, that triangle, and we can put it right at the end, sheet four. Let's come back to our sheet one. Uh, and now let's go to chart. Uh, there are lots of ways to insert charts. Uh, let's just take a look at them. I don't want to get too involved in inserting a chart here because uh, it's a totally separate lesson. But again, I'm just selecting the, the data. And here we can do this. Planet. And let's select the data and the labels that we want. Each column I labeled. Insert chart. And what you're going to see is um, we could select the different kinds of charts. Press and hold to view a sample. Again, it's going to be a very strange chart. Let's just do a column one because this really isn't the appropriate data. Let's just jump to finish. And you can see it's inserted a chart for us based on the data. Again, this chart really doesn't make any sense um, because we really haven't done anything with it. But it's a quick way, an instant chart, and that's pretty neat. Let's delete that and let's keep going our insert menu. Now we have function. Let's say we wanted to add the total number of moons. Um, there are better ways to insert functions, but let's just show you what this does. In the functions dialog box, it can, you can look at all of the functions that Excel has, actually look by certain um, financial functions by category, database functions, date and time functions. I just want to use the sum function. Let's use the sum function. And again, I'm Looking where I am here, I have the cursor selected. I'm selecting a row, a cell at the bottom of where I want to add them up. And there are better ways to do this, but let me show you how this works. Function, sum, sum of D4 to D11. And if we notice here, I want to see this. That, okay, insert, function, sum. Before I do that, I want to show you, though, over here is D, column D, Row, this is row 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I want to add up row 4 to row 11, and put the results in row 12. So that's what this is going to basically be a shortcut for. Function, sum, D4 colon D11 means sum the whole thing. That's good. Let's click OK. And now we have the sum. Same thing here for the orbital period. Let's say we wanted to take an average. It doesn't make sense, but let's go insert. Function, average, 
C4 to C11. Again, notice, uh, let's click OK. We have C4 and C11, and here's the average. Don't worry about how these cells are formatted. We'll get to that the next time, but that's just to show you how that works. Um, names is a more advanced issue we're not going to get into. Inserting a picture is like you would in any other um, Office application. Object hyperlink is the same thing in terms of inserting. Um, and comment, again, we're not really going to touch on that today. So basically, in this lesson, we looked at you know, inserting cells in rows, columns, a worksheet, and charts. Um, you could also insert a page break, but I would stay away from that. Um, you know, when, when you learn how to work with pages in Excel, you'll find that a little more helpful. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, visit us at thehelpspot.com, H-E-L-P-S-P-A.com, and follow us on Twitter, where our name is, as you guessed it, HelpSpot.